Now we're going to take some questions. The first question is from Courtney of the Los Angeles Times. Thank you, Mr. President. Your top economic priority has been to build up U.S. domestic manufacturing in competition with China. But your rules again against expanding chip manufacturing in China is hurting South Korean companies that rely heavily on Beijing. Are you damaging a key ally in the competition with China to help your domestic politics ahead of the election? And one for President Yoon. There have been concerns since last year that North Korea will soon be conducting its seventh nuclear test amid growing domestic support in your country for your own nuclear weapons. Meanwhile, Russia has suggested it could send its latest weapons to North Korea if South Korea sends lethal aid to Ukraine. How do you seek to manage the North Korea risk amid obligations to Ukraine and NATO? Thank you. Let me respond to your question first. Uh, my desire to increase U.S. manufacturing and jobs in America is not about China. I'm not concerned about China. Remember, America invented the semiconductor. We invented it. We used to have 40 percent of the market. And we decided that what we're going to do over the past, I don't know how many decades, we decided that it was going to be cheaper to export jobs and import product. And along came the pandemic. And the pandemic taught us that we used to have, as I said, 40 percent of the market just some years ago. Now it's down to 10 percent. And again, we invented the supercomputer. We got — so I decided to go out and see what we could do to increase our hold on the market once again. And so what I did was I went around the country, as well as in addition to passing the Chips and Science Act, I, in fact, uh, visited countries around the world. And uh, two significant South Korean companies decided they were going to invest billions of dollars in chip manufacturing in the United States. It wasn't designed to hurt China. It was designed to — so we didn't have to worry about whether or not we had access to semiconductors. For example, during the pandemic, what happened was all of a sudden everybody started to learn the phrase supply chain. A year ago, no one knew what the hell anybody was talking about when he said supply chain. But now they all know. And we lost access to these, these semiconductors, in which new automobiles in the United States need 30,000 of them just to build a new automobile. And we didn't have them. So we started to invest here. And what happened was when we encouraged the investment through the Chips and Science Act, and now we have enormous investment in the United States, well over $200 billion in long-term investment in semiconductors. And we're re rebuilding the economy of the United States with those semiconductors. It's not designed to hurt China. The only thing I did say with regard to China, there are certain extremely sophisticated semiconductors that we have built that are useful for nuclear and or other weapon systems. Those we are not selling, we are not exporting to China or anyone else. And so that's the context in which this has all occurred. In the meantime, we're creating thousands of jobs and bringing back a sense of pride and dignity to so many towns in the country where all of a sudden, over the last three decades, we found out that factory that hired had 600 people shut down. The soul of that community was lost. And so I made sure when the semiconductors were coming back that they were not just going to go to the coast, they'd be all over the country. And so we have a significant field of dreams in outside of uh, uh, in, in Ohio, outside of Columbus. We're in Texas. We're in Arizona. Anyway, they're all over the country. So it's not viewed to hurt anyone else. We are providing access to those semiconductors. We're not — we're a supply chain you can count on. But we are not. We are not going to sit back and be in a position where we don't have access to those semiconductors. We are not going to be a place where we're the end of that line. We're, we're the beginning of it. And uh, it's generating significant economic growth in America and not hurting anybody. And by the way, it's creating jobs in, in South Korea. It's creating jobs in South Korea, not just with SK, but all, anyway with Samsung and other, uh, other industries. So I think it's a win-win. 